All right, y'all, we're back here for round two. Let's see what this deck can do. Uh -huh, we're gonna need more than one and I can't keep this. Okay, I think this is probably better, sure. So the good thing is our deck is pretty dang good at catching up with card draw. So when we mulligan, it's not like insane. Um, ooh, the bad news is they're probably aggressive. Ooh, ooh, gross. Ooh, okay. That's aggressive. Sure is. But the cool thing about this deck is it is sort of built to race with the flyers and such. If they open fire that, I'm going to be upset. Okay, that's fine. Mm-mm. Mm. Okay, that's aggressive. That's aggressive. Remember when I said we could race? I don't know about all that. We are gonna need some stuff. Like, I have an issue here because if we play the aerial guide, like, are we gonna trade it off with the firebrand archer? Mayhaps. We're already seven points behind. That's insane. I think this is the play, and then I think we just don't attack. Because if they remove something else, we're taking a heck of a lot of damage. Um, granted, I would like to find, like, some desert, whatever, unquenchable thirst for this these bad boys. Probably for the Avenger. So they get in with the Avenger. Oh, boy. I'm gonna throw this under the bus because the 3-3 three, three might theoretically be able to block other stuff later. And we're not really racing here. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, four. Are you serious? Okay. Well, at least they didn't do anything last turn, but this is a heck of a lot of lands. So we might be in a little bit of trouble. Just a little bit of trouble. <laughs> this is too many lands. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man, this is a hard matchup for us. <laughs> Uh, I laugh because I'm terrified that we just are gonna die this turn. Oh my. Oh my. No, oh, can't I can't block. That's just lovely. Do we take seven? Go to two? That just doesn't seem like a good idea, but chumping doesn't seem like a good idea either. So sure, let's go to two. <laughs> oh. Sharpshooters. Uh, or I mean, we're dead to the survivors. Like, for real, there's just nothing that I can do. They make something not able to block. They make the Naga not able to block, I think. We're, we're gonna die this. But that was too many lands. We needed some answers that we didn't get. Oh, that's a problem too. Oh my! Ah! That was a really aggressive start. Hopefully that's just like the best start that we're gonna see from our opponent and we can do a little bit better. I don't know. Horse or not, you're killing me! Okay, so we're like just legit dead to exert. So let's uh, move forward with our lives. Right, kitty? She says, right. Naga, Naga Oracle would have been nice. Uh, this would have been a problem for a while, but the Oracle would have been able to see that and the Manolith, so we might have, mm, if that would have been a couple turns sooner, we could have maybe got there. It still would have been tough. They were certainly pretty far ahead. Alright, so it looks good against them. Do we want to try to mill? I don't think so. 
Do we want to rebuke? They have a cartouche, but I mean, that gets like value one time. It's not like the black cartouche where you just keep getting lifelink and stuff. Um, it's the red cartouche. So I'm not super concerned about rebuking something once that's on there. Um, thinking about sideboarding. I don't think we want any of this. I think we're okay. I think that was just way too many lands and they had a really aggressive start. So we just need to find some of our two drops sooner. The wall would have been great. I wish we had two walls against them actually. Like, I would like to make our deck a little bit faster, but we really don't have the option of doing that. So, and there's nothing that's necessarily bad against them. Like, the sting is, I think we're going to need it. I need to leave that in. I'd like the rebuke, but I don't think we have room to take anything out. My cat is super chatty right now. <gasps> so sorry, but my dog just... <laughs> Where did you have this? He went in my purse and found all these bars, like granola bars, and I thought I picked them up. He ate one of them. Thank goodness it was the oatmeal cookie one. It wasn't one that had chocolate in it. But he just came in the room and just stared at me with this little face like, oh, it's okay. I don't have anything. Don't, nothing to see here. I saw ya, so I got it from him. You're a good boy. Thanks for giving that up. Good job. Now he's like trying to get my forgiveness. I forgive you, dog. Go lay down. Okay, okay, okay. This is a much better start. I don't think we're supposed to cycle the river render, but we could. Um, it actually is gonna be a long time till we can play it. So maybe we do. we get value with the Sphinx though. I don't think we do. We have things to do. Now let's play. I think it's the aerial guide. Because they just played out their archer. If they don't hit their white lands, we might be okay. Oh. Well then. Ooh, Eternal of Harsh Truths with an aerial guide is very good. So, yeah, let's play the desert. We could also play the, well, I need to play Sphinx next turn. So we're playing the desert no matter what, because I want to make sure that this is going to come down. So the question is, do we play the striker, which is nice to hop, but this is also nice to hop because we get a card. So I'm not sure. We're definitely attacking here. The Eternal blocks the Archer better, so I think that's going to be the play. Um, oh, oh, okay, good. They don't have their trick. That's nice. And if they're only swinging for two with this, I'm happy. Oh, they got their white mana. Okay, the game's over. They're too aggressive for us, like for real. <laughs> and we don't have removal, so that's like a big issue. Naga Oracle. Huh. All right. Um, if we get in for three, we're taking a hell of a lot back. Like, a lot. This actually might be Striker here. Let's think about this. Um, I would love to draw a card, but I don't think attacking with the Eternal is going to be any good for us, right? It's preventing two damage at this point. Um, This is rough because we're going to take so much menace next turn. 
but I can't really block the scrapper anyway because if they exert it, like we don't have good blocks for that because we're gonna lose something. I mean, I guess I could use the aerial guide to block it, but that feels really bad. But like looking at what they have on the board, like we're gonna lose if we just like take a ton of damage. And we sort of have to consider jet because they're red. So I don't want to get down too low. Oh boy. Uh, let's play the Oracle. Because that and the Eternal are gonna block this pretty well. Okay, let's attack with the Aerial Guide. Cause I really don't wanna block with that. We can play the Oracle and then we can cycle the River Winder if we feel like we need to. Okay, let's ditch the companion. What do we what can we do with six mana? Not a lot. Let's ditch the companion and the land and then put the oracle on top. Oh god, non greater. No 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 top. Okay. Okay, I mean I think I'm supposed to double block the scrapper, because I don't think they have a trick. They would have sent the archer earlier. Right? Maybe not. We've seen active heroism from them. <laughs> what is this? Okay, that's fine. Interesting as pre-combat. Hmm. Interesting they don't send the Minotaur. Because I cannot block that bad boy. Um, yeah, let's play the Oracle gun. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so let's go pitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go. Oh, you're so far away from that. Uh. But once we get the guide, it's going to be so yummy. So I think it's worth it. So let's go top, top. Okay. So attack with the guide. We maybe could have sent the Eternal this time, but I don't know. I didn't. They're looking quite aggressive over there. So the Ceridon makes something not be able to block. I'm not sure why they didn't send the Minotaur last turn. That doesn't make any sense to me. We didn't have a profitable block for it. Okay. This no attacking business is so weird. Like, they should just be slamming them in there. But, hey, I will take it. I will take it! Alright, so now we have the Sphinx and the Riverwinder, which is great. So, let's go in with the Aerial Guide, since they're not really putting so much pressure on us. Not, not real sure why, but I, I will take it. Because now they're on a two-turn clock. But, I mean, we're not looking so hot either because they have these Ceridons. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actually, less than a two-turn clock if we hop something, but I, we got to watch our life totals. So, yeah, so if we draw the God Pharaoh's Gift into a land, they're so dead. We might be dead this turn. I'm actually very scared. They might have been building up to something crazy. Okay, yep, he can't block. That's okay. Okay. Here we go. Everybody in. Oh my gosh. Like, what is happening? <laughs> oh, because now they make two things not be able to block. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we might be dead. So the only thing that can block is the Eternal. They are attacking for nine. Oh, we're just dead. We are just dead. This is what they've been waiting for. Okay, so the only thing we can block is a 4-4. Four, four. We are... Well, we're not dead, actually. We can cycle... Okay, hold on. We're So we're taking 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... If they don't have a combat trick, we're not actually dead because we're gonna cycle something and make this be less. 
So hit OK. Hmm. This, I guess, I don't know. I don't think it really matters. We just have to hope they don't have a combat trick. <laughs> they do. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Oh, not a combat trick, but we can't win on the crackback. Unless we draw, oh, that, wait, no, 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 that's 14 exactly. Wait, oh, the archer, oh, the archer. Okay, that's why. Non-creature spell. Okay. I was like, wait, what? Where'd this come from? No! It was a land. Oh, it wasn't a land anyway. We couldn't cast that. All right, we were too far behind. Oh, God. That was yuck. Okay, that didn't work out. <laughs> no! <laughs> Turns out Boros Aggro is still a thing. Um, It's definitely still a thing. My very limited number of trophies in this set. I've had three. I made it to the finals a bunch and blew it a few times, but also just got extremely brutalized by the new gods <laughs> so um i only have three trophies in this set but two of them are boros so i know the power is still real um we just got run over yeah so they were just waiting for their time which sure i mean i feel like they could have been putting pressure on me but hey it worked the horse turn not got there so um that was a nice fast match that's the only good thing I can say about that. <laughs> they didn't kill us slowly. We died very quickly. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching, and hopefully we can at least get 2-1. I'll see you in a little bit.